Maxes are giving you the chance to win a brand new Harley Davidson motorcycle, and it's too easy to get involved. To enter, all you need to do is purchase any Maxxis protein between the 1st of March 2013 and the 20th of June 2013. Then simply fill out an entry form stating in 25 words or less why you think you should win, and send the completed entry form with an original purchase receipt of a suitable Maxxis product to Maxxis Competition Headquarters. Don't worry, the address is on the entry form too, and you're in the running to win. It's that simple. The judges will decide which entry they think is the most original and creative. And that's the one that'll win this brand new 2013 Fat Bob Harley Davidson. So what are you waiting for? Grab yourself some Max's Protein, fill in the entry form, and this fantastic bike could be yours. Welcome back to Max's Muscle TV. And remember to get your entries in for that Harley competition as there's only a couple of weeks left. And you'll be kicking yourself if someone else rides away on that awesome machine. Well, Dirk Lamb is no stranger to Muscle TV, folks. He's an elite level strength and conditioning coach that's brought us some cutting edge segments in the last couple of years. We'll be featuring Dirk more in the coming weeks, but tonight he's gonna to take us through an awesome full body workout that proves you don't need a whole lot of fancy equipment to get the job done. You just need a single barbell. Let's check it out. Today we're gonna to do a workout which I refer to as a single barbell workout. Basically we load up the barbell, an Olympic bar, uh, on both sides with an appropriate weight. We're gonna create a really hard but interesting circuit. I can't stress it enough that you have to have had a fair bit of experience in all types of lifting before you tackle this. And I stress that you probably need an exercise partner or a trainer and preferably should be a very advanced experienced lifter better if they're a qualified trainer or a coach, but definitely somebody who knows a lot about anatomy and physiology and how to perform exercises properly. Today we're gonna to use an athlete I trained, Mark Feroldi. I'd class him as, as an advanced uh, athlete in that he's had a exposure to a, a wide variety of intense and hard advanced exercises. So the first exercise that we're gonna do is an explosive jumping deadlift. You'll see Mark's gonna start in a kneeling position with the bar in front of him and he's gonna to jump to his feet while pushing on the bar. And as soon as his feet make contact with the ground, he's gonna explode his hips into a deadlift. The reason why we're using such a light weight is because of the difficulty is gonna come from the additional uh, movements, which is the kneeling jump and the explosion that makes the exercise a little bit more intense. Stop there, good work. The next exercise Mark's gonna do is a very, very peculiar type of squat but we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. This is a very interesting way of doing it because you're gonna start with the bar next to you standing upright and you're gonna to have to squat down and guide the bar onto your traps and then stand up with it again, squat down with it and then release the bar back to your side. It's probably one of the most challenging squats that I've ever done. Even if you do it with a light weight, it's still a very difficult exercise. It challenges you in so many ways not just the strength of your legs, but obviously the strength of your obliques again, the strength of your back and your lats. More importantly than all of that, it tries to develop a big degree of flexibility under load. A lot of injuries occur in sports when somebody's in a position that bodies are not accustomed to and there's a load or a force being placed upon them. This trains you for unpredictability of sports to a certain degree and puts you in a position where you feel a little bit vulnerable but if you do it properly and safely, you'll be able to execute some very good loads in a peculiar position. Tilt. All right, put it bar on the ground. Following on from that, Mark's gonna perform what we call a suitcase deadlift. It's called a suitcase deadlift because the bar is next to you, it's to the side of you, and you're gonna pick it up with one hand, just like you would pick up a suitcase or a briefcase. It's gonna try to basically bend your body to the side of the, of the, of the load. Now, you don't want to pick this bar up bending to one side. You want to keep your torso as straight as possible, which means you have to engage your obliques on both sides of the body to try and maintain that straight position. There's ways to progress exercises like the ones you're seeing today. You can start off by using an empty bar, or even better, as a broomstick. And you can get used to the motion without having to worry about a weight. Mark's been doing a lot of sparring this morning, so his shoulders are a bit battered. So for this exercise, which is the one-handed snatch, we're gonna drop the load from 40 just down to 30. Um, and we're also gonna do that for another exercise 
uh, coming up later, which is called the spear lift. So once again, he has to get his grip spot on. He has to judge the, the proper distance um, to the middle of the bar and grip it there and grip it hard. From there, he's going to perform a regular snatch with one hand, taking the bar overhead in one swift, very explosive move. And five. Good work. How's yeah. your shoulders? Take now. Following that, Mark's going to perform uh, what we call the barbell rollout, where we're going to roll the bar out, but then we're going to stop one hand from moving, and we're going to roll the, the barbell out in a kind of semi-circle fashion. It starts off with developing the strength and conditioning in the abdominals, but when we stop it with one hand and we roll it out into an arc or a semicircle, it starts to take on a different nature and starts to work the obliques as well. Okay, so it's not a one-dimensional exercise. It, there's a little bit of movement going forward and to the side. And when we return it, we start again and move to the other side in the same way. The next one Mark will do is called a spear press. And it's basically a one-arm shoulder press with the bar starting out in front of you. So you take it onto your shoulders like you're holding a spear. So once it's to your shoulders, you basically have to press it up overhead. The challenge is with this is like the snatch and like the one-handed deadlift, is that if the bar is not 100% in the right position, the bar's going to tilt and you won't be able to perform the motion properly. Again, loading up one side of the body is going to challenge the obliques. Again, challenge the stabilizers and change the nature of simply doing a double hand or two hand overhead lift. The next thing we're going to do is a single leg deadlift. It's pretty much exactly the same as doing a standard deadlift, except one leg will be off the ground. But just to make things a little bit more interesting, we're going to chuck in a one-legged burpee with this. When you jump back in on one leg, it's going to cause an even more disturbance to your balance. So if you're just going up and down on one leg, eventually, within 10 or 20 seconds, your body will adapt and you'll start to balance with a weight. But the fact that you've got an explosive element with a one-legged burpee, as soon as you jump back in, your body gets thrown out of balance and that's the exact point where you have to deadlift the bar up is when your foot lands back on the ground. Finally, we're going to do an exercise, more of a standard kind of movement people would have seen. It involves a burpee, where your hands on the bar, where you jump out. When you jump in, people would normally do a vertical leap when they do a burpee. So we've got the barbell, where you're going to do a high pull at the end of it. So basically it's, it's two standard exercises once again that we've melted together to, to create a more dynamic exercise and challenge the body in a different way. We've got a few things in action here. You get, obviously with the burpee you're going to get the cardiovascular benefits or anaerobic benefits from that and also the explosive elements from doing the high pull with the bar. You alright bud? You're a killer man. Good work. Thanks Ed, mate. Yeah, thanks to Dirk and also Mark there. And hopefully you've got a couple of new exercises to work into your routine as well. OK, that's it for another week on Muscle TV. It's been another big show, so thanks for joining us. And until next week, see you in the gym. Go.